I. Uh, hello, booktube. I'm Scott. I'm Neil. And we are Gunpowder Fiction and Plot. And today. Why we... did you? I was hoping you would do the intro for once. You just. No, this is not how it goes. Wouldn't that freak you out? Would that freak you all out? Yeah, that's. A... You went in doubt, freak him out. I'm not sure needles. All right. This is the Book Buffet 2021 book tag. <laughs> created by four different channels Amrita by the bottle um, and if you don't subscribe to Amrita you just like, wrong you're wrong also you should grow a pair <laughs> I love that t-shirt somebody awesome must have bought it for you let's do the questions but this is the no, easy no. we have to introduce the other three channels and, oh, okay hurry up quick okay. one two um, three and Rita has teamed up with her bestie, Rosie Cockshit, who is just brilliant. Um, and purple. And purple. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, Kim at Bed Marks and... Kim at Book Marks and Bread Sticks. No, Bread Marks. Bread you Marks know. and Book Sticks. Mm -hmm. Yep. I am. Um, oh, book Stick. I'm not a Book Stick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about a Bread Mark. It sounds like a Skid Mark. Um, but bready. And that, that's not appealing. And Bookstick, I'm on to. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Who else? And <laughs> Amy at um, Potato Barbarian. A potato, <laughs> <laughs> <A> potato Barbarian. <laughs> potato, yep. Potato Barbarian. <laughs> oh. Like Librarian, but a potato. Does that mean she catalogues potatoes? These are all about food, but. But are clearly about books. But clearly about books. We're going to start with question nine, because that's how we're rolling these days. Like a Bad Limb Biscuit song, we're rolling. Yeah, sorry. No, not like anything to do with Limp Biscuit. Because <laughs> they had a good song once. I'm sure, no, they didn't. Um, <laughs> who's in book? I'm sorry. All right, who are we tagging? Tag some foodie friends. And they have to be foodie. So the first person I think of is like Booktube's biggest bread enthusiast, Danny. Spinelli speaks. <laughs> she likes bread. bread more than cake. Do you know, Danny, that a young lady in her early teens showed me her art today and she showed me a photo of her being sad. And do you know what she was doing? Eating bread. It was a little painting of herself with tears in her eyes eating bread because she was sad and the bread was to make her happy again. Oh. Made me think of Danny. <laughs> yeah. Um... I'm also going to tag the duo over at BookBuds. Um, we've not actually mentioned them before on our channel, but like, go and check BookBuds out. They're just high octane, excellent, just feel good British content. I feel like if you wanted to give the team at Play School some speed, and then <laughs> and then ask them to review books, that's what you're on to. Anybody else get a tag now? Mm. No. No. I feel like I've been insulting enough to enough people. Yeah, I think you have. I think we'll tag Smurdy at St. Reed's. Yes! Because um, I want to hear her opinion on everything. Yeah, because I, I just like hearing Smurdy say words, to be honest. Oh my god. What the fuck? This is terrible. Six minutes and we're up to question one. A short story, novel and or novella that you wish could be expanded into a full-length novel or get a novel-length sequel. Legit whinged about this in my Friday reads oh, this week. I did. I did. Binti should be longer. I have no idea. I said we should do this tag and then you started filming and I was like, oh, give me a chance to prepare. No, you weren't. You were like, let's do it. Uh, uh, I like to do it. Uh, uh. Like that. Was that, a dance. was that how I was with the dance and all that? Yeah. The Scott dance. Actually, it's not. Because Scott only dances with his arms. His arms have to be involved. So a bit more like this. Uh... Is that how I dance? No. <laughs> there was way too much titty shake in that for it to be a Scott dance. Oh 
What? Oh. But you could be like Maud. Oh, I would love more Maud. Yeah. I oh, know. yeah. That's why I suggested it yeah, as the answer to this question. That's brilliant. I would love a full length Maud where she like like clock towers a village or something. <laughs> <laughs> no way she plans clock towering a village. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And she gets some teenage boy to take the rap for it. Yes, sounds yes. great. An elderly lady is up to no good is the book we're talking about. Good call. Yeah. Salad bar. Salad bar. Salad bar. Salad. <laughs> yeah, go. Pick three ingredients, plot elements, writing style, tropes, etc. That would be in your ideal book salad. I like miserable books. Because you do. Misery. Mm-hmm. I like books that don't take themselves too funny. That. Not taking themselves... Too like, seriously? Seriously. I like yeah. books that don't take themselves too seriously and invoke humour. Mm-hmm. I also really like balsamic vinegar on my salad. I like books that are set in some kind of not real place. Mm -hmm. Whether that's a twisted version of a real place or a completely imaginary place. Some kind of not real place. I like books that do not centre a heterosexual romance. Yep. And I like books that ask me to question my beliefs about humans. Those three things. That's so much better than my ridiculous answer. I mean, if you want to put balsamic mm. vinegar in a book, then you've got a problem with understanding how books are created. Okay. 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 I like books where the characters, where the writing allows you to empathise with the characters' emotions and makes you feel those emotions very strongly. Mm -hmm. So I like that with <laughs> misery and comedy. Yeah, okay. Deuce Bar, a slim volume that packs a significant punch. Ah, uh, passing. Good call. Mm -hmm. I know, that's why I called it. A slim volume that packs a punch, for me, is a novel about the forming of Bangladesh. I remember Abu told through the relationship between a young girl and her father. Pasta. Pasta? You know, some people say pasta, and I always like... I, I, get, I get the different people. Like in Australia, we can change the way we pronounce our A's, so it's acceptable to say castle and castle. Mm -hmm. But in other places, it's not. But pasta is with a with a long A instead of a short A, so people can say pasta. Oh, weird. A book that brings you comfort and leaves you fully satisfied and content when you're done with it. Most of them, are the Echo Wife. Jude the Obscure. That's not a novel thing to say. <laughs> Next. The world sucks, and I'm having that affirmed. Beef. A book that is hearty, whether it's long, fills you up with gooey warmth, or is just a slog to get through. I think that the answer to this question for me is The Count of Monte Cristo. Oh. It is long enough that if you dropped it out of the second store of a building and hit a baby on the head, you would be charged with murder. Let me rub. Because I'm never going to finish. <laughs> Next. Number six. Bread. Nom, nom, nom. Something you and your friends fight over while you're waiting for dinner. Not it's... true. You just order more. The bread basket. Yeah. Talk about a book you fight with other people about. Oh, the Wasp Factory. Yeah, I fight with people at the Wasp Factory all the time. Just because you think it's good, because you're a bit dumb. <laughs> um, that's because it is good, and it's not my fault that you don't get it. Okay, you get it. I know you get it. 
Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit offensive and a lot boring. <laughs> Look, if you're going to tell it, like, if you're going to say that about it, you can flip that around the other way. It's a lot offensive and a little bit boring, is that what you're saying? <laughs> that's, that's what you should be saying. I don't think it's boring at all. I think boring really? is the wrong word. Oh, it's so boring. Oh, it's really interesting. It's about a boy who collects, like, Rice. dead animals in the woods and makes it into a machine to predict the future. Except and... he spends his whole time cataloging his dead animals. And, <laughs> and they're not like... animals, they're like bugs and bits of snot. And then maybe he commits a few crimes because, you know, he's clearly a rational human being. Anyway. Question seven. Cheese Room, a book with a happy ever after ending. I reject this question because it was told in the form of a lie. I don't think I read those. Shuggy Bane? Shuggy Bane did have a happy after, ever after ending. It was an uplifting yeah, ending. It was quite an uplifting ending. Yeah. For, I know that you agree without agreeing, even yeah. you people who are like, but that wasn't happy. Yes, it was. No, yeah, yeah, I'm totally with you. You're a monster. But <laughs> I'm not a monster. I didn't murder anyone. I just said that it was fine they died. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Right. Totally. That's what you said. Wuthering Heights. <laughs> we don't like happy endings. That's what we say. What's next? Unhappy endings make me happy and therefore they're happy endings. Chocolate Fountain. When you read a new series or author, do you dip in and out or do you read it all back to back? Depends. It depends on do I own them all already and do I have the ability to get them quickly and do what is the fire rating of my passion. Let's say you can get them all quickly or you have them all and the fire rating of your passion is my loin loins hurt. Well, then I'd probably read them all in a, in a row. I'm way too commitment phobic to do that. Mm, that's, that's, no, it's a shorter amount of time, it's less commitment. Oh, I'm way too clingy to do that. What's next? That's it, we're done. Oh, okay. Yeah. Love you.